Hi everybody, it's Rob. I've got to video number seven on the IFTTT and social media training course. And this is about Google stacking. Now, um, it's not a course on Google stacking because that takes a little bit longer. <coughs> um, it, that course might not happen for a while. So for now, hopefully you make enough sense out of this video to see how it works. Uh, my honest opinion is it's better to go and pay for this you save yourselves a huge amount of work and again it's just money makes money of course if you don't have the money and you've got the time that's fine then let me explain now the reason I've shown Google stacking because Google stacking is in fact a separate search engine optimization or SEO system that stands alone it should have its own detailed course um, I've even myself purchased courses that cost in the region of a thousand Five hundred dollars, I think, or was it one hundred and fifty? I've forgotten. Um, I bought the course and loved it. Um, worked on it for a week, and then should have rather paid for it to be done because I, I literally used the whole week. Here in that week, I could have created ten other pages and and got my Google stacking done by other people. Anyway, I'm, I'm mentioning Google stacking here simply because I'm talking about this social media. Um, an IFTT system inside of IFTTT as far as I know wherever it is now here um, I think you can put your Google so let's try this you can put Google Assist Google Calendar Events Google Drive so yeah you can put your google stacking tricks in here you've got to be careful which ones do or don't work um, but each time you share something it gets added to google properties which are very very powerful so uh where's my picture gone here so in reality it, it's it's really cool that it can be done like that um without this whole Google stacking course. But let me tell you what, what it really is, is if you took a page you had done properly and you then built a Google stack with it. So you went to Google Maps and you spoke about or you put a link on it to your YouTube video or to your page in your Google Map. You then, so you've now got a link and it's an openly public shared map. Okay, so um, that's that's the biggest trick that I'm teaching you. If you go to Google Doc, you don't just save a Google Doc. You save it so that it's openly available to the public. You've got to go to the settings and share and say, sorry about that, available to the public, visible to everybody. So you do the same. You put together Google Slides on it talking about that YouTube video or that page. Uh, a Google Drawing, all of these are Google properties that you would then set up each one focusing on that page or video that we want to promote, okay? Then you would build a Google site. I don't know what these are, by the way. I like that they've added little things that I don't understand, but that's fine too. Uh, you put all of these individual things into your Google site. Because a Google slide is effectively a series of images, which would then be published on your Google site. So all of these things now are full of links and are on a single Google site that the Google site sends out a link to a keyword or a target URL. Okay. And they've got syndication networks here where they probably then take the target URL in the Google site and share that on these that are very tiny but and I suspect this then would be your money site in the middle but it's Facebook stumble upon Cora by the looks of it uh, LinkedIn Google Plus which doesn't really exist here anymore but just but yeah so you take all of these the Google site link and just like I'm teaching you to promote that link alone through IFTT and through all sorts of other things you would put all of those out there in the world and get them really, really visible so that this Google site alone is powerful enough to rank everything on its own. It's so, so totally powerful. Um, you really want to rank a page, just do a Google stack 
and then share it safely and properly. Now, don't overdo things stupidly on here, like on your on your Google site. Put 20 keywords that are wrong. But you can hashtag stuff and do things that, that will work. And um, the, the dangerous part is, is that you can get yourself uh, your website de-indexed. So again, um, if you want to not get your site murdered, make all of these links go to uh, a target URL that is not maybe your money site. So it can go to um, a, a single video that that's getting potentially thousands of views. It can go to a blogger blog, a Wix page. It can go to almost any other place. Um, and then from that page, remember you're now getting your power from links times a thousand. So now your Wix link, which will be one of these, um, gets sent to you. That link ha is like a 10,000 candle power link instead of just a one candle power link. So that's pretty much how Google stacking works. Um, but as I said, uh, you know, whether you're doing geo images and Google posts, you'd literally go to Google here and I'm no jokes. You'd go to whatever they've got and go to more and see what and where you can add. So if you've got a calendar, put stuff on the calendar if you can get away with it. If it lets you publish it uh, live. And you can put all of that, incidentally, it adds blogger and things in here. So some of them are already part of it. Um, you know, Google News, you can't just kind of put things on Google News. Uh, it's a little bit sort of more complicated than that. But basically, you can add all of those things. So let's go back to that image, those things. Um, a Google Plus post, which again, I said Google Plus here is a little bit sort of gone. If you're a local business, Google Plus does still exist for, for local search. Geo-imaging, um, drawings, sheets, slides, doc. But most of these, you don't need all of them. The, the more you can create, the better. But you might find that when you're just ranking a page, and I say just, I want that page to rank, but I don't want to spend a week doing the work. So I come along and I create just a, a Google Slides, um, a Google Sheets, a Google Doc, I put myself on the map somehow. Uh, I don't know. I'll find the easy ones. Boops, all of that goes to a brand new Google site that's called um, Fibromyalgia Flare Ups um, and Information. And on that site, I drop in my... my uh, infographic and a few images too and then I send it to my video because you can see that that video gets enough action but I don't know yet if that video converts so uh, I don't know which page converts so now I'm talking SEO so you'd send it to a place and you'd send it carefully right done uh, I think that's cool I can by the way all of this I'm doing because I needed to set up my own Social media. <laughs> Funny. Okay, I'm out of here. Take care. Cheers.